Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.5 Beta 2 on my iPhone XR. As you can see, this is an iPhone XR and this came in about 407.8 MB on my iPhone XR. So if you have registered your email ID to iOS 16 developers beta, you should be able to get this update. And even if you are a public beta tester, you should be able to have this update by the time I'm recording this video. So in this video, let's talk about what are the new features and let's talk about what new features you can expect with iOS 16.5 beta 2. So make sure you watch this video till the end, but let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing first, let me go to the general and about section. As you can see, if I tap on the iOS 16.5, so it says the new build number is 20F5039E. So the letter E in the end, it denotes that we are going to see a couple of more betas before we get to see the public release of iOS 16.5. Now this iOS 16.5 beta 2 contains a new modem firmware but you know unfortunately with iPhone XR we don't get to see a new modem firmware. I'm pretty sure if you're having any other devices iPhone 12 or 13 or 14 then definitely you will be having a new modem firmware. But as you can see here, so before updating, so the modem firmware was 5.02.01 and after updating, so it is still the same. I have mentioned this many a times in the previous video since iPhone XR is a pretty old device considering 2023. So you will hardly see any new modem firmware update, although the update will have a new modem firmware for newer iPhones. So that's the case. But in general, let's now talk about the new features. So talking about the new features, the something that I always mentioned with the previous betas and that was enforced with iOS 16.4.1 is this new beta update section. As you can see, right now it is selected to iOS 16 developers beta because of which I am able to get this update and my email ID is now registered to Apple developers beta program. So reason which I am getting this iOS 16 beta updates. But if yours not, it will not be able to. A lot of people have asked me in the previous videos comment section that I do have a beta profile installed whether should I be able to get beta updates or not. I said you know as of now you might be able to get this but you know in future if your email id is not registered you would see you would see an exclamation mark and it would definitely tell you that your email id is not registered and beta profile concept is going away. So at the moment still you can download the profile from uh, any website but in future it is not going to be possible. So one more thing I noticed here with you know if you have an Apple watch which supports watch OS 9 so then the similar thing is enforced here but you would not be able to see on my device because I have this watch 3 which does not support you know the watch OS 9 but if you have a supported Apple watch then you would get to see a beta updates option which would again give you the similar options public beta and then the developers mode if your email id is connected to the apple developers program so it looks like apple is doing this across the board if you have any you know apple watch or ipad everywhere through the software update you would get the beta updates option one more thing i wanted to mention here there were a couple of splash screens that i got so once i updated if i just click on the game center so there was this new splash screen that I got to see as you can see. So there's nothing changed with iOS 16.5 beta 2. It's if I take a look at the screenshot here. So it says that this is a bug fix and improvement update. So a couple of bugs which were fixed with iOS 16.5 beta 2 have been you know resolved and you know this update was presented to the beta testers. So if you take a look at the release notes as well there are no new features apart from the few that I have mentioned there are few changes in the sports section but those are actually not important for India. Now talking about the settings here, if I just you know try to go to the battery section and let me see whether the battery health has been degraded or not. It's look like it is still holding 88% of battery health. So the battery health has not been degraded. And you know, we don't have a lot of new features at this point because in the month of June, we will get to see iOS 17. And considering iOS 16.5 and 16.4.1, a lot of you have asked me, what new features do we have? Now, we don't have a lot of new features. If you are expecting visual changes, if you're expecting some new you know, features with iOS 16, that is not going to happen because in a month or two, we are going to see 
iOS 17 which will come with lot of new features and visual changes and probably new animation and whatnot. So do wait for the month of June when I will be releasing the video on iOS 17. I will definitely see whether this iPhone 10R will be supported or not. That will be very interesting for me to see. And even for your reference, I ran the Geekbench 5 scores as well after updating it to iOS 16.5 beta 2. So the single core score came in about 1101 and the multi core score came in about 2653. So these are the single core and the multi core score for iPhone 10R with iOS 16.5 developers beta 2. So there are no new changes apart from this I was able to notice with iOS 16.5 beta 2. There were a couple of bug fixes people were talking about you know some notifications issues while notifications were scrambled and you know there was you know side square notifications you know like devices like iPhone 14 and 14 Pro Max notifications were not visible properly I didn't face such kind of issues and also I wanted to mention something as you can see there are these airpods are kept over here so if I just go to the settings and if I show you the airpods version so if you come down you can see that it is the current version is 5b59 so just now I've noticed this airpods are getting updated so it will get updated in the background so you will have a new airpods pro update so this is specifically for airpods pro airpods pro 2 second generation and airpods max as well if you want let me know I'll make a separate video about it so but that's all the new things that I could notice with iOS 16.5 beta 2 let me know in the comment section below whether you have updated to iOS 16.5 beta 2 or if you're someone who's still using iOS 16.4 4.1 let me know that in the comment section below and i will see you on the next video bye bye